human for outer space and to alien for Earth. This is how my friends describe me. No, they are not trying to insult me. They are just trying to put me into a familiar slot, but couldn't find any. Ladies and gentlemen, I am an introvert. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. In fact, I'm quite OK with it, really. I know I'm different. And I'm quite content to be that way. An alien, bore, dull, these are some of the adjectives that my acquaintances hurl at me, as if I were a pathological case. But let it be known, once and for all, that introvertism is not an illness which needs to be treated. Why then do you find parents lamenting at the fact that the child is shy and needs to be drawn out of a shell? Let me, show, let me share an example with you. I live in a boarding school and have an identical twin sister, Ashita. And people in my school differentiate me and my sister by simply asking one question. What is 2 plus 2? Whoever takes less time to answer, they believe, is Ashita. Well, if you want to understand people like me, here are some of the insights into an introvert's mind. First, we introverts are deeply confused in making small, insignificant decisions. But we are better at making big ones because we think deeply. Second, introverts are good listeners. They respect people and therefore do not feel the need to shout back during a discussion. Third, we introverts are reflective. We tend to go off sometimes, think, maybe read up a little, before we come up with a solution of a problem. We love philosophical talks. We understand moral values. And here's a good news for parents. Introverts are believed to be good in studies because they think deeply. Well, extroverts may seem to have a lot of fun, partying around, hanging out with friends, chatting non-stop on phone. But introverts have the same kind of fun in reading books and listening to music. Honestly, I could sit alone for hours and not feel a wee bit alone. Here are some of the myths of an introvert. First, people believe introverts always want to be alone. That's not true, because they can get lonely if they don't have someone to share their discoveries with. Second, introverts don't like to talk. That's wrong, because we talk only when we have only when we have something to say. Third, introverts are xenophobes. No, we are not afraid of people. What we need is a reason to interact. You won't catch us saying hi in the train compartment or talking about a family, friends, problems with mother-in-law and rate of mangoes. And all of this in a matter of few hours. Myth number four, people believe Introverts are antisocial, that we lack social graces. That's completely wrong. We are just picky about whom we make friends with. I live in a boarding school and have many friends. But one of my special friends is Devyani. And it took us one month to be friends and to actually know each other. Another one I've heard is, introverts are rude. Well, we just don't like beating around the bush. We are direct to your face. As an introvert, people sometimes tell me I'm rude because instead of being complimentary, I'm blunt. I remember when I used to sit alone in a corner reading a book, people used to pass comments like, you're so boring, you're a bookworm, which may not exactly be the case. Yes, our comfort zone is silence, but that doesn't mean we are dull. OK, some of the most creative people in history have been introverts, from Albert Einstein to Abraham Lincoln, Bill Gates, J.K. Rowling, and Mark Zuckerberg. As an introvert, I like to mull over things. I like to see the kernel in the nut. I remember when we went to watch Munna Michael, a supposedly time pass movie, most of my friends didn't enjoy it. But then, 
I found something of value there. I learned something, which was, if you're passionate enough, you can surely reach your goal. Yes, my friends laughed at me after that, because I, I found philosophy in a movie like Munna Michael. But then, Mahatma Gandhi once said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. Einstein said, the monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind. These people have changed the way we think and have propelled the world forward. In many cases, they have proved you don't have to be the loudest voice in the room to be heard. Sure, introverts are not backslappers or arm twisters, but hey, can you imagine a world without Microsoft or Facebook? Thank you.